Hey MB Crew, so I'm starting off on soaking wet hair and I'm going to apply the Luster's Pink Leave and Conditioner to my hair. My hair is freshly washed, so I'm just going to apply a little product. And I wanted my hair to be soaking wet so I could get my hair really low. So I'm going to apply some olive oil to seal in the moisture. And then I'm just going to literally comb out my baby hairs so they don't get, you know, pulled back. And I will be using the Edge Booster Gel. Y'all know it's one of my favorites. It holds my hair down really, really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a generous amount. I'm going to go ahead and smooth that in with my hands and I'm also going to go in with my brush and smooth my hair back. A lot of you guys tell me that you have problems with getting your hair sleek and slick back really well so try to do it on wet hair. Usually that's the key is to do it on wet hair. I know a lot of times I do my hair on like semi wet hair. I'll just spray my hair with my spray bottle but you might have to get in the shower and literally get your hair like soaking wet. To get it to lay down because this will work i'm telling you and especially if you have thick hair get your hair completely wet and then do this to get my hair as sleek and slick as possible i'm just going to gather my hair and put it in a ponytail and then i'm just going to touch it up add a little bit more gel while i feel like i need it i'm going to use some got to be blue freeze spray since my hair is wet just to make sure everything like melts in and is going to hold because my hair does like to curl up on me and then i'm just going to take my scarf and apply it and i am going to be applying two scarves so that i don't get a hump at the top of my hair when it starts to dry allow yourself a lot of time for your hair to dry when it's wet like this because it probably will take a while you might have to like blow dry it on cold to get it completely dry. I'm going to go in with the Kiss Edge Fixer. This has definitely been one of my faves lately and I'm just going to go ahead and lay down my baby hairs. Now this is optional. You could brush all your hair back but you know I like my baby hairs. I've always been a baby hair girl since I was little. <laughs> so yes. I'm going to go in with this Cuban Twist hair in 24 inches. I got it in the color 2 so I only use 3 strands. I'm going to lay my hair tied across and pull it through and then we're just going to attach that to our real bun. I'm going to lay the hair over my bun so my bun doesn't peek out and I'm just going to put a little hair tie over top of it so that it stays in place and then I'm going to twist the hair. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to like loop the bun around and position it how I want it to go. There's like no right or wrong way to do this, you guys. Just get it to how you want it to be. I know I wanted my bun to be really full and I wanted it to kind of like, you know, plunge out a little bit. I didn't want it to be like solely just like stuck down to my head, if y'all know what I mean. So next I'm going to go ahead and take some bobby pins and pin it into place. You can pin yours however you would like to make yourself feel secure. I'm going to go in with some Luster's Pink Oil Sheen and just spray my hair, give my hair some extra shine. And this is the finished look of the Low Sleek Bun. It turned out so pretty. I love it so much. It's just so cute and elegant. You can wear it many places. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on my next one. Bye!